Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. The Dean Show every week here to help you understand Islam and Muslims, the most misunderstood way of life, except, you know what, it's, it's the most misunderstood, but this is a phenomenon that it is the fastest growing way of life in the world. That's right. We got white Muslims, African American Muslims, Chinese Muslims, and today we got a Latino Muslim coming on the show. His life is like a it, it, it's like a modern day, it was like a, a drama, an action packed movie, and he's here to share his experiences with us. So sit tight, we'll be right back on the Dean Show. This is the Dean, the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, this is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, this is the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, this is the Dean Show. 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 Assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you. Wa alaikum assalam wa Puerto Rico. Oh, <laughs> you remember that? Huh? <laughs> How are you, my brother? Alhamdulillah, good. So. Just want to break the ice a little bit. You know? You're on yeah. the Dean Show. I'm really excited that you're here. Daniel Hernandez? Correct. And Abdullah is your name now? Yes. Or, I mean, I mean, this is, this is a myth itself. Let's start off. You don't, you don't have to change your name when you become a Muslim, do you? Correct. You don't have to do that, do you? No, I don't. You don't you, I mean, so you're, you're Daniel Hernandez? <clears throat> Daniel Hernandez. But people can uh, also call you the, the, uh, Abdullah, the, the servant of God. Yes. Now, you weren't always... Uh, being called by this name. I mean, let's back it up a little bit. Uh, I'm very excited for us to have you on the show. You come from a Latino background, Puerto Rican? Yes, correct. What's the difference between Colombian, Puerto Rican, Mexican? What, you speak the same language, right? We speak the same language, just the dialect is a little bit different. You know, we compete, you know, because of the music as well. You know, they have salsa, we have salsa. Uh -huh. And we say it's ours, no, it's ours. And we, you know, there's a little tug of war. Uh -huh. you know, historical. Yeah, but I mean, you can understand each other, right? Yes, we can. Yeah. How yeah. do you say house in Spanish, in, in, in Puerto Rican, house? Casa. Casa? How about in Puerto Rican? Same casa. Yeah. Casa. So uh -huh. it's just a little, little dialect. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, so now tell us, uh, tell us a little about yourself. Well, I was uh, raised in, 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 in a Catholic household. My mother used to be a, a, a nun. Uh -huh. And she used to uh, be in a convent and teach more than 50 students. And then she decided to leave the convent and got, she got married with my dad. And she had us, she brought us up always very religious, you know, doing the, the, the catechism in our own house, uh, always teaching us to pray before eating, before sleeping, uh, you know, always, always keeping the remembrance of God. <clears throat> and she also gave us the freedom to uh, to choose. She didn't impose life on us. Uh, so I was the smallest one of my brothers, and I always <laughs> like to make the challenging choices. How many brothers did you have? I have two more, the, me and two other brothers. Sisters also? Uh, no, only no, two, just brothers. two brothers. Okay. Correct. And then... Um, I happen to you have a low self-esteem, always trying to just uh, convince myself, you know, because I had the bad experience in, in, in some schools where I had a dream and the teacher would tell me, you're not going to make it, you're not going to be that. The teacher would tell you that? Yes, so it will crush my spirit, and so then instead of... Why would a teacher say something like that? You know, I, I don't, it was, the, the teacher was teaching in an environment where she's not familiar with. Yeah. She's from a different environment, but she will come because it's her profession. She's and, like, she's kind of bitter also. You know, right? and, and it's like, so what I did, instead of making it easy for her to teach, I made it difficult for oh, her. Oh, I see. <laughs> You're a troublemaker now. So, yes, I, you know, I, didn't, I used to feel guilty about it, but it was something that, it hurt me. And then 
you know, through life, you know, other experiences led me to just make the wrong choices. You know, then I started playing basketball. I started playing basketball in high school, you know, and some of my friends had issues, so they would, before the game, start drinking. Yeah. Alcohol and so on. And I, I would, you know, hesitate because I, I wasn't into it, but there were some factors that made me say, you know, let me just, let me just try it. Now, how old were you at this time when you, when you, you're about to have your first sip of alcohol? Yeah, no, no, this, I mean, I had tried it before, but yeah. this one was for, I, like, I really wanted it. Before I just tried it because it was peer pressure. Yeah. You know, but this one was, 